There aren't words to describe how great this process is. You get to work with the other sailors of the year and learn things from them firsthand. Petty Officer Desiree Gonzalez has just spent a week getting to know several of her peers from around the 7th Fleet. Every single one of them has taught me something new this week that I definitely wasn't prepared for, so it's, it was just a great experience. That experience was U.S. 7th Fleet's Sailor of the Year competition. Six sailors, chosen by their commands for their leadership and accomplishments, competed to see who would take home the title. But it wasn't all about the competition. For me to be nominated as 7th Fleet Sailor of the Year has just been awing. It's been amazing. It's been a wonderful opportunity. When you, when you get up to the 7th Fleet level, it's just like, wow, like that's, it's a huge area and there's so many people involved. These are the people that everybody thought was the best out of their commands to represent. Although Gonzalez and Parrish both won, they believe time spent with other nominees during the event meant more than a title. Getting to even be judged against them, I think is just a great experience. So I want to tell them thank you. Thank you for humbling me and reminding me how much I still have to grow <laughs> and learn. I was just doing my job and next thing I know I got, <laughs> I got nominated and then I found myself in my dress uniform going, going to a board, but it was, it's been awesome. I've, I never even won Blue Jacket of the Quarter or Junior Sailor of the Quarter before. I was like, so this is my first time being at this level and it's just, it's wow. It's, yeah, I'm still having a hard time breathing. <laughs> it's that good. Reporting from Fleet Activities Yokosuka, I'm Petty Officer Michael Rainey.